story Kenyans have been following the entire day today. President Uhuru Kenyatta has shifted blame to the judiciary in the fight against draft, graft in Kenya. According to the president, the judiciary must stop frivolous exploitation of legal technicalities to set free graft suspects. In his set of the nation address, initially delayed for half an hour due to protests from some opposition MPs, Uhuru also accused county governors of wasting county funds. Chris Thairo reports. For our children and generations. It was the second last State of the Nation address that President Uru Kenyatta was delivering at Parliament before Kenyans go back to the polls. After last year's State of the Nation address, in which he had touched a list of 175 public officers accused of corruption and promised to tighten the news, the President sought to absolve himself from blame on accusations that corruption in government has worsened. I understand the frustration of those who feel that investigative and court processes have been manipulated by the corrupt in order to escape accountability and delay and derail justice. It is crucial, therefore, that our judiciary reduces and eliminates the frivolous exploitation of legal technicalities to defeat the course of justice. According to the president, his government is on course to recover looted public funds with 400 million shillings so far recovered from the National Youth Service fraud suspects. Consequently, we have traced and are now preparing for seizure property and assets worth 1.6 billion shillings acquired using proceeds of corruption. We intend to create a fund to which the recovered funds will be deposited with a view to use such funds for specialist projects to uplift the vulnerable in our society. The president also took a swipe at all the 47 county governors, accusing them of not utilizing properly the funds being sent to the county governments. A significant proportion of the funds transferred to the devolved units have not met the expectations of the Kenyan people. You must ask, does the one trillion sent to county governments reflect in what you see? Is there, is there clean drinking water and proper sanitation? Efficient garbage collection? Medicines in hospitals? And agricultural extension workers visiting your farms? On security? President Uru Kenyatta assured Kenyans that his government will continue funding the security apparatus heavily as well as giving them the necessary equipment to fight terror and other criminal activities. We have implemented specific strategies that deal with our security challenges and have made a number of cross-cutting multi-sectorial interventions. These include review of security-related legislation, rollout of a collaborative approach to counter terrorism and an integrated command and control center. We have undertaken national police service reforms, reforms to the national administration, reforms in immigration services, reforms in correctional services, peace building and conflict management, as well as citizen participation in security through our Nyumbakumi initiative. The president also challenged the members of the opposition to not only criticize the Jubilee administration, but also offer solutions, arguing that leaders will come and go, but the unity of Kenyans remains key. Today I invite opposition and the alternative society to liberally criticize my government's agenda. But they must not criticize it as a sport. <laughs> They must criticize it as owners of the covenant and provide alternatives. Criticism without alternatives is just reckless political sport. President Kenyatta also announced that the free laptops that were to be issued in all public primary schools are already in the country and that the government has already trained 60,000 teachers to support the digital learning experience.
And with that speech by President Uhuru Kenyatta, focus now shifts to the implementation process, given that he has only one remaining State of the Nation address before Kenyans go to the polls come next year. Chris, the KTN News.